Okay, so tonight's team call for some insight is going to be how to build your business by running free groups. And before we talk about that, though, um, we're going to do a couple announcements. And, um, and by the way, I'm Darla Kitzmiller. I am a diamond coach, and I am living in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm from Oklahoma, though. So our new coaches this week, um, Ashley welcomes Rochelle, Mallory welcomes Casey, and Kendall welcomes Willis. So hopefully nobody else added any after I got this um, added. If not, you can um, add them for next week if you'd like. And unfortunately, we had no rank advancements, or at least nobody that posted about them for last week. So our announcements for this week, the T25, Brazil Butt, and the Ultimate Reset have all been on sale for this month, and those sales will all be ending for the end of April. So this is a good time to push those sales, remind everybody about those sales going off, and a lot of people that waited till the last minute um, you might be able to get Success Club if you don't already. So speaking of Success Club, the, um, if you're going to Summit and you get Success Club 5 in April or May, then you will earn the Never Give Up t-shirt. And if you are not going to Summit and you qualify for at least Success Club 5 in both April and May, you will get the t-shirt even though you're not going. And if you qualify for Success Club 10 in April and May, then you get permission, permission, admission into the Sequence and Studs Party at Summit. So this is a new one this year, and it should be fun. Um, if you're one of the top 750 Success Club point earners in April, then you will win um, a celebrity photo op at Summit. And also right now we're having the Beachbody Challenge Winners Contest. So you can vote every day for a man and a woman. So you can do that at BeachbodyChallenge.com. Right. So how to run a free group. We're going to talk about how to run it and how it can help build your business. So there's lots of different ideas on the kind of group that you can run. And that's totally up to you. Maybe you can do something that you feel is a strong suit for you or something that's fun for you. But here are just a few ideas of ones that I've done or um, that other people on our team have done. So you can do a clean eating group. Something like five or seven days is best. Ten days to 30 days is getting a little long. And you could do a no junk food challenge on Pinterest. There is a no junk food one of the, just a pin. And I did that the one time I did it, and I have since changed that and modified it and kind of made it my own, and I use that in my nutrition groups that I run, and sometimes just for my challengers, too. Um, you can do 21 Days of Healthy Habits, just a 30-day exercise accountability group uh, where people can do any kind of exercise. Um, you could do the, uh, Megan was just saying she did a 30-day squat challenge group, just the squat challenge from Pinterest. So something like that is not going to be um, much work for you to do. So something like that is easy if you don't have a lot of time. And then um, another one is just a, a regular challenge group, just, just doing um, people who already have programs. And uh, it's just a good way to build that relationship with people. And so you can um, always get those people in a group and just do a normal challenge group. All right, so why I started these groups. Um, last year when I went to Summit, I had heard good things from some of the presenters about running these free groups. And at the time, it wasn't something I was really that interested in. And I really didn't necessarily see the value in it. I was just thinking like challenge groups and challenge packs. And I really wasn't seeing past that at the time. But by the fall, I had so many people who were messaging me, mostly like on my fitness page. And everybody said that their biggest struggle was nutrition. And that was, of course, before the 21 Day Fix came out. And so we didn't really have a lot to you know, direct people that really just needed to focus on nutrition. So I decided I would start running these um, nutrition groups 
and I started out doing 10-day groups. And I, the first two months, I think I've been done a group every month since, I believe, October is when I started them last year. And I started out the first two months doing 10-day groups. And I really didn't even, I'm not doing it every month, but I just had people interested and it was going well. So I started doing them every month. But 10 days just got to be too long. By the end, it was like, People just weren't posting, and they weren't even checking in the group. So I uh, decided I would go down to five-day groups. So since um, about December, I think I've been doing just the five-day groups, and uh, and that's better. Partly because of the investment. Like when there isn't any investment, a lot of times the people are not going to be as committed. So um, a shorter group works better. And now I. Also, one benefit to this um, running these groups is not just for um, customers or potential customers, but also for my coaches. So we run them together, and so it's a good opportunity for me to teach them what I'm doing, that duplication process. And it's also good team building, and it helps them out as well. So um, it's been good for our team now to do these. So the first time I did that, this as a team was the last team cup. And so everybody that was on my team, we all put in our customers into one group. And then the, I guess two months since then, I have been doing them with just my downline. So there doesn't need to be a lot of requirements for the group. Um, just keep it simple. So. The basics that everybody needs to do is that you're not already a coach, unless, of course, it's a coach on your team, and that you're not working with a coach. You want to respect other coaches. We never want to take coaches, uh, customers away from other coaches. So um, make sure you ask people if they already have a coach. And so then if they're not a coach or working with a coach, then they just can set up a free account on your website. And so really that's the only thing I make them do is set up that free account. And that way, whether they buy something um, for the group, after the group, or a year from now, they're my customer. And um, I can build that relationship with them. So optional is Shakeology. I always tell people about Shakeology. And um, when I send them the message about the group and all the requirements, and what we're going to be doing, just all the details. I tell them that they can do a 30-day bag, they can do a five-day trial pack, which would just be from me, and I would have them PayPal me. And uh, then they can also do the four-pack sampler from each body. And then, of course, they could also get a challenge pack and do that for their group. And then, of course, they could be in a challenge group at the same time or following that. So finding participants for these groups. So I usually start about two weeks before the group starts because if you start too early and have somebody who wants to do it and then they have to wait three or four weeks and they may have kind of lost their enthusiasm. So I don't start more than two weeks before, sometimes not even that long. And kind of you can start if you've never done one before. If you're a new coach, you can start with just friends, family, coworkers, you know, people that you see more often that are the closest to you. Um, if you have current customers or current challengers, you can start with them. Um, my first few groups, all of my customers wanted to be in those, and I have had customers do it multiple times too. Um, and then if you have current customers, you can also send out a newsletter um, in your monthly newsletter, and you can advertise it in there. And then, of course, social media. So on your personal Facebook page, your um, and then your business page, if you have a like page, you can post it on there. And same goes for Twitter, um, Pinterest, Instagram. I have posted on, um, on Instagram as well and Twitter. So here are some examples of what I've done for that. Um, these are two of them. I did obviously the one on the right that says 10 day was at the beginning. And um, the one on the left is a more recent one. So something kind of eye-catching and that's simple. And um, at the beginning, I didn't make a big deal about the fact that it was free because I was afraid I'd get, like, you know, overwhelmed with people. And unfortunately, even though I said it was free, it was still not that ca the case. I don't know if people just think, like, there's a gimmick or something. But um, even saying it was free, I didn't get, like, crazy response. 
um, like by the hundreds. <laughs> I thought I would if I said free. So you can definitely make free um, big on there like I did on the last one. Okay, so some examples of what I say when I post, and this would be for my personal page or for my um, on my like page, and it could be with one of those graphics that I just showed you, or just by itself. So if I gave you a meal plan and exercise, a meal and exercise plan for five days, would you follow it? That has been a really good one, especially when I first started the group, um, and then also about do you eat clean and. Um, do you need help with reading labels? Because that's all things that we talk about in my group. So, of course, these things would all be individual to the group you're running. For me, mine are five-day nutrition groups. So, um, that's what I talk about in these um, ads for them. And so, do you want to lose 10 pounds in 10 days? I have had people lose 10 pounds in the 10 days and um, five pounds in the five days. So, I, again, don't feel like that's any kind of false advertising or anything like that. You do the exercises and eat the meal plan, then it's definitely possible. Okay, so once you have somebody interested, then what do you do? Um, I keep a paper and pen because I'm old school and I write it all down. But you can do that however you are comfortable with. But just keep a list of everyone who says they're interested. So if on your personal Facebook page you post this and you have 25 people say they're interested, make a list and write down everybody's name that said they were interested. And then um, that way you can follow up with all of them so you don't miss anybody. And just keep that same list going no matter which social media venue you're using or if you're talking to people you know, that's face to face, but keep everybody on that same list. And then you can send everyone a message or email with the, de the details of the group, the start date, and the requirements. And you can really just copy and paste that same message to everyone because the details are going to be the same. So the only thing I change on that is if it's a current customer, then of course they don't have to know that they have to set up a free account and all that because they already have it. So other than that, it's pretty much the same message to everybody. If they come back and say that they, they're in, they want to do it, then I send them the directions for setting up their free account on my website, and then I let them know the options for Shakeology, and I also send the Tony Horton video, the checking out video for Shakeology. And um, I don't get a lot of people that buy Shakeology. I, I may have 25 or 30 people every month that join the my nutrition group, and I usually only have like one to three people who take me up on the offer for Shakeology for five pack. Um, but I put that information out there for them anyway. And um, if I don't hear back from them, uh, I will message them with a follow up a few days before we get started <clears throat> and just say, hey, I was adding, you know, I'm adding everybody to the group tonight and I noticed that you haven't set up your account yet. Were you still wanting to join my group? And I said, so go ahead and set up that free account number that you added. And again, it's pretty much a copy and paste thing that you can just send to everybody who hasn't already set up the account. So then what I do is on this list of 25 people who want to join the group, when they set up their account, I make a note of that. You know, you can make it some kind of code, whatever works for you. And then if they want Shakeology, I make a note of that as well. Okay, so the next is setting up the group. So it's not really much different than setting up challenge group on Facebook, but if you haven't done that, then you don't know. So you, I usually start my groups, I always start the group on Mondays, and so I will set the group up like Wednesday night, maybe before that, and I will add everyone late Wednesday night or Thursday, depending on what's going on. And that way, I do that for my groups only because they have a meal plan to follow and a, um, and a grocery list. And I want them to make sure they have plenty of time to go over that and get to the grocery store. So I add them a few days before so that they have time to do that. Um, make sure you make the group private because people will often be sharing things that they don't want all their Facebook friends to see, like, you know, about their weight or measurements, that kind of thing. Um, and I don't like to add the members until all my files and stuff are uploaded because if somebody's online then they go look and then maybe they don't go back and look until later and then they missed a bunch of stuff. So you have to add somebody when you 
set up the group. You can't just be in it by yourself. So I always add my husband or like one of the coaches that's going to do it with you or something like that um, so that you don't add the members until after you have everything loaded. And make sure before the group starts that everybody that wants to be in the group has sent you a friend request. So if you're not already friends with them on Facebook, if it's somebody who is um, from your like page or something like that, Pinterest or Instagram, make sure they have sent you a friend request. Um, you can add somebody to the group without uh, being friends, but you, we'll talk about this later, but you want that person as a friend on Facebook. And if you are uncomfortable having people you don't know or don't know well as your friends, then you can set it up to where they can see your pictures and stuff like that. So um, that is another subject. So documents for the file section. These are things that I put in mine or that um, suggestions for things you could do for yours. Again, this is going to vary depending on what your group is. So if you're just doing like Megan said she did the 30 day squat challenge from Pinterest, then you may not need all that, this kind of stuff. So but these are just some ideas. So a meal plan, grocery list, um, exercises, all of that stuff can be found on the Team Inspire website. There was, um, I think my grocery, if it's not, it's on the Team Inspire um, Facebook page. I know there was already a meal plan and I changed it a little and added that and then I made a grocery list for it. So there's several places where you can find that kind of stuff. The exercises that I post are the ones that are on the Team Inspire website. I did have a lot of people asking for details, like on the work, on the some of the exercises. They didn't know what they were, so I ended up making a video on posting it on YouTube, and I share that with along with the picture of all the exercises, so that they can know how to do those. And then I put modifications in there too. Um, I do a document that's for them to record their weight and their measurements. So I have them do that on day one, and which really they can do it on the weekend before I ask them to do it. So at the, before they start and then um, the weekend after they finish. And then uh, I post a document that I have, like Shakeology tips. Um, you could post the recipes, uh, those recipe calendars. Um, the group expectations uh, are what you're going to be doing in the group. And then a personal introduction from you, maybe about your journey, about why you're coaching, whatever you want to say. And then you could do a welcome video. I did a welcome video, but then when I started adding, having my coaches add people in, I quit using that just because there are several coaches all adding people into that group. But we all do a personal introduction. We all share a before and after picture or a before and current or um for all of those people that join the group to see. And anything else that's relevant to your group and the subject that you are discussing. So running the group. Um, before the group's day number one, like I said, I have everybody added a few days before day one. So I have them give an introduction and um, I ask them to share a picture they don't have to. I have an assignment to create a dream board, which is, um, if you look on the Team Inspire website again, there is like a, I think it's the 30 day, running a 30 day challenge group or something like that. And there is like a suggestion for every day for 30 days for challenges. One of the first ones is to create a dream board. So I give them that and I tell them they can do a real one and post a picture of it or they can use the software that is um, in that post, which is from the Oprah website. So. Um, then it can be something to have them break the ice or a discussion starter, um, anything to get them pumped up for day one. So uh, one thing that you can do is send a message to all the group members. So on your private group, on the right-hand column where you add members, you can also send a message to everybody. The only problem with that is if you have a, several coaches all going in together to run the group, you have to be friends with everybody in the group or you can't send out the message. So um, if you're doing it by yourself, you can send everybody a message, just sort of a, um, you know, just a morale building kind of call. And then um, you can do a, um, a private message to people if, um, if you're not friends with all of them. You can make a video just with your phone or your computer or whatever. You can make a video welcoming everybody. 
you could do a Zoom call um, if you have less than 25, I think, 25 or 30 people. You could do a Zoom call. And when you do a Zoom call, you can see everybody's little faces on the screen and everybody can talk. Um, it's sort of like this call, but you can see and hear everybody. Um, you can also have a prize for the end. You can have a prize for the person who, like if they check in every day or if they, um, or a person who loses the most weight or, you know, up to you, whatever you want the prize to be for. But you could have some kind of prize or, or even a drawing. You know, if you, if every, if for everybody that posts every day, you get your name into the drawing. Um, for everybody that shares their, their measurements or something, you know, it's whatever you want to do. Um, so running the group, this, these are the things that I do in the group. So there's a daily challenge every day, um, just like I do in my challenge groups. So, um, and sometimes it's something simple like sharing a picture of something, um, and then it's like one day it's sharing a motivational quote. So it's anything like that and something to do every day. And then there's the daily workout, which again, Team Inspire. And then you could share a daily Shakeology recipe just for fun. I share information or education on a subject each day. Since mine's a nutrition education group, I have a subject for each day. And so I have like a document that I post and then I ask them to share. Usually it's just share your thoughts on this, share your experiences, but so, you know, meal planning, reading labels, that kind of thing. Anything like things related to nutrition. Um, and then engage with them daily. So you can schedule some of the stuff in like Hootsuite or something and um, and kind of feel like you don't even have to run the group. But if you're not engaging with them daily, then they're not going to feel like they need to be posting in there. And they're probably not going to get as much out of the group. So engage with them, ask them questions. And when they comment about things, um, make sure you reply back. Um, and make sure you're in there to answer questions. If they have questions, whether it's about you know, the meal plan or exercises or whatever, and do the challenges yourself. You know, like share your motivational quote for you or something like that. So make sure you and you can follow the meal plan if you're doing like a nutrition group and you have a meal plan to follow. You can follow along with it, and um, that way you are eating the same things they're eating, and you're able to share more that way. Do the squats with them if you're doing a squat challenge. So. In running these groups, the fortune really is in the follow-up, just like we always say with Beachbody, um, with, with all your invites. But it's also in continuing to build that relationship. So um, having people share their results at the end, whether, I mean, in, in a five-day group, it's like I said, sometimes there are people who lose four or five pounds, but it's not going to be something huge, but it might be a good kickstart for them. So it could be weight loss, it could be inches loss, it could be their cravings are reduced, um, maybe they have higher energy, maybe they've been sleeping better. There's lots of different things that can count as results. So at the end, you can kind of ask them how they're feeling and what kind of results they had. Um, I always end with information about um, you know, joining a challenge group, about any sales or specials we have going on, that kind of thing. And then um, I, give, I tell them we're going to leave you in this group over the weekend so that you can save any of the files that you want. And then I put them into my customer support group. So I message them after the weekend, and I, I give them a copy and paste kind of message, and I just say, you know, I hope you enjoyed the nutrition group. You know, was there something that you got out of it that we able to help you on your nutrition journey or on your health journey? Um, and I tell them, I'll, again, I kind of mention about if there's something I feel that would be good for them, but I usually mention the 21-day fix just because I feel like it's such an awesome follow-up to the five-day nutrition plan that I do, or nutrition group, and so I, I usually recommend that, so I tell them about that and send them a message, um, I mean, I send them a video of the 21-day fix in that message, and I tell them that if they have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, and in the meantime, they will be adding them to my customer support group. And that way, I still have them, you know, well, we're friends on Facebook now, and they're in my customer support group. So they're learning more about me, and so we're building that relationship. And they are able to come to me if they have any questions. And if they see me post about something months down 
the line than they can. They're also continuing to get my newsletters. So um, that's on this next slide. It talks about building that relationship through your personal Facebook page, your support group, your customer newsletters, et cetera. So now that you're friends with them, um, you have that opportunity to learn more about them as well, and um, they're going to learn more about you and have more trust in you. Because in five days, they're, they're not necessarily getting to know you or trust you uh, enough to want to invest in something. So, and so speaking of investment, don't be frustrated with a lack of participation. I have had people, when I message them back after the end of the week, say, thank you so much, I lost five pounds, and I love the meals. And that person never posted in the group. I thought they didn't even do it, but I still messaged them, because you never know. And they had participated with all the expectations. They just never posted in the group. So um, you never know who's participating. And then also with um, frustration with participation, really the participation is a reflection of investment. And when somebody invests in something, they're more likely to follow through with it. So I have a lot lower participation rates in my five-day groups than I do in, say, my challenge groups. Because if you're in my challenge group, you had to invest in something. And if you are investing in something, then you're going to be more committed and you're going to follow through. And you are going to put in more effort where if you're, you're getting this for free. Like, you're not having to pay for anything. So if you don't do it, like, what's the big deal, you know? So a lot of people are going to feel that way, and they're going to sign up because it was free and never do anything else. So don't get frustrated if people don't participate because it's going to happen. But you still have them as a friend now that you can build this relationship with them. So um, don't expect this to, like, help you get success club <clears throat> the month that you have this. Because most people do not buy a challenge pack right out of their five-day group. And I, I kind of thought when I first started this, I might. And the first time I did this group, like I said, it was probably, I think it was October, and it was months before I sold a challenge pack to somebody who had been in that group. So it was probably December, January, before anybody that was in that first group ever bought anything. So it's not... Like, it's just like with your beach body business, it's not a get rich quick scheme. Doing these groups is not a surefire way to get success club that particular month, but the work that you put in now is going to pay off in a month or two months. So just keep after it because you're still helping people. You know, just like I said, some of these people never even participate, but I'm still helping them and they still, you know, come back and say, oh, yes, thank you so much. And, you know, I get a lot of people who are very appreciative, and um, so really, to me, it makes it worth it for that. Uh, so again, two two plus months later for the sale of the challenge pack. So just be patient and um, just wait for people to, to for people to come around, and it has to be in their time when they're ready, when they're financially able to invest. So just be patient, wait for them, and build that relationship and trust with them in the meantime. All right, so anybody have any questions? Let me make sure I got everything here. Yes, I do allow people to redo it, although I tell them if they say they went in again, I say it will be the same information and meal plan as last time. And I'm happy to add you if you want to do it again. And um, I do have some people say, oh, well, I don't want to do it. And other people say, yes, they need that accountability. So. Anybody else? Yeah, this call will, oh, uh, you just decide. Yeah, I can do just this one. You're welcome. Any other questions? Do you guys have your wheels turning? Is somebody um, ready to start a free group? And what kind? Post it in the chat if you're going to start a free group. Uh, 
also, it, the first time I did this, it did take a lot of time. I did use information that I had posted to my challenge groups before. So like I said, the first one was 10 days. So like four or five of the days, I shared information I had already come up with for my challenge group. And then the rest of it I had to come up with um, during the week. And But now I have all the information. I do all the same posts each time. And so it's really easy to just like go back to March's group and copy and paste it into April's group when it's the appropriate day. So it doesn't take a lot of work after that first time. Now, it's each month now, it's just answering questions. I mean, every night I go in and I post all the stuff for the next day, but it's just answering questions and engaging with the group. So it doesn't take as much time. Right now, the time and the investment in time comes in the week before the group starts when I'm messaging with people and um, setting up the group and um, following up with people saying, did you still want to join? You haven't set up the account. Which, if you don't have time, don't do that. If they didn't set up the you know account like they said they were going to and they wanted to join, then don't follow up if you don't have the time. And um, so anyway, the week before is when it takes more time after you get it going. All right, any other questions? All right, if there are no more questions, then we're for the end. All right, thank you guys.